So this is Crazy Core. It's all about the core tonight, gang. Absolutely everything is focused on this midsection. So I'm going to be working down the front, I'm going to be working across, I'm going to be working down the sides, and I'm going to be working into your back as well, because this all plays a huge role. I want you to really think about having a strong belt around your waist, keeping you pulled in, but not too tight that you can't breathe. And that's the sensation that I want you to kind of have around that midsection. So you're really nice and taut, but not in a way where you absolutely can't breathe. We've all been there where you've either put a pair of jeans on or a pair of trousers on or a, uh, a dress on or whatever, an outfit, and literally the whole night you spend standing up because you know you can't sit down. <laughs> or is that just me? <laughs> okay, place our feet together. Let's turn our toes out to the corners of the room. Realign our heels with our toes. Evenly distribute your weight between your right and your left. Foot. Pick up those toes, let them breathe into the floor. Anchor through your heels as we always do. And then lengthen up through the body. So put tension into your thighs. Remember, rather than into your joints of your knees, tension into the muscles in the bottom to help engage through the pelvic floor and protect the lower back. Pelvis really needs to come into neutral tonight and stay in neutral for as long as possible because neutral spine is the most effective place to engage the abdominals. So let's really rock that pelvis forward and back. Be aware of how that feels. Move that wherever you feel comfortable. All the way forward, point A. All the way back, point C. Let's find our point B, somewhere in between. Lengthen the rest of the body. Grow lovely and tall. Let your shoulders come up, down and away from your ears so your neck is lovely and long as well. Take a moment to connect the breath with the abdominals. So as you exhale, I want you to think about engaging a little bit deeper, a little bit stronger here. So I'm gonna get this body moving tonight. We're gonna go straight in. Okay, take a deep breath, inhale, breathe out, reach to the right, and then reach to the left. Let's do that again. So we inhale, lift, exhale, open. Reach down the side of the thigh, and again, one more time, inhale, lift, exhale, release. Reach down the side of the thigh, and change. Take your right arm back, Center, point now, lend the left, go again. So we reach. Rotate the right arm, do the right arm again, and then two on the left. Well done. So the hand comes around to the back of the room. You alternate and you do four of these, and then two rotations on your right shoulder. And then on your left shoulder. So can we put those two parts together? Ready? Breathe in. Go. Breathe out. Reach down the side of your thigh on the right side and the left. Right arm goes back. Open the chest. Then the left. Do that again twice. Perfect. Rotate the right arm two times. Here. Open that shoulder. Go on the left side. Circle. Really nice. Bring the arms forward. Sweep and squat. Sweep again. And squat. Put everything together from the top. Breathe in. Breathe out. Reach down the side of the thigh. Right side and left. Back on the right arm. Then the left. Do that again. Here come your two rotations on your right shoulder. Circle it out. Go on your left side. Well done. Here come your swoop forward. Release your back and chest and squat. Go again. Well done. Everything from the top. Breathe in. Go, go. Breathe out. Reach down the side of the thigh on the right. And then on the left. Reach back, shoulder high, push. 
Well done. Good work, two circles. Two circles the other way. Swoop. Squat. And again. Really nice. Okay, take your right knee up. Take your right leg out. Do that again. So you're going to come up and then press out to the side. You don't have to lift very high. You're using it to mobilise your hip and your body is staying lovely and long. Now a little bit quicker. Go up, out, lift, open, there, that's it. Now can we step the lunge to the side, here, and come back in. Well done. Press. Big step. Feel the stretch on straight leg. Four, three, Go two, go one, squat down, come up with a balance and do that again, down and lift, two more please, press, keep your abdominals nice and strong here gang, well done, your slow left knee up here, out to the side, left leg. Opening up through your pelvis and getting that hip to mobilise. Lift. Open. Well done. Abdominals nice and strong. Press. A little quicker. Up. Push. Shoulders are your stabilisers. Keep them strong. Keep them level. Press it away. Now, do you remember those lunges where we step? Then bring it back in. Stay on the left. Here. In we go. I want you to feel the stretch in your inner thigh. Let's get that body moving. Push. Well done. That's it. Press. Do you remember your squat balance? Here you come. Squat. Up to a balance. Sink to the heels, lift the toes if you can, then rise up onto the toes, go low, and lift. Well done. And lift. Stay here, take a breath, inhale, exhale, roll. Drop the chin, heavy head comes through and forward to a half roll. Stretch the back here, take a breath, inhale, exhale. Roll up, roll the shoulders. Now, you know now whether or not the full roll down is right for you. If it's not right for you, you are gonna stay with this half position. Inhale, exhale, roll and release. If it is good for you, take a full roll. Relax the back, relax the shoulders. Take your breath, inhale, exhale, rise. Roll the shoulders and release. Superb. Inhale, exhale. Just go down as far as it feels good for you. Relax the shoulders, relax the back. Roll up. Last time we're staying down. Inhale, exhale, let's come low. Hands walk out, calf stretch. So I want you to know, any time during our exercises, if you feel like you want to come back and stretch out the back of the legs, you can. Otherwise, we can alternate here, pressing through. Hold both legs straight when you're ready. Drop the knees down to the floor. Again, anytime you want to, you can come into a cat stretch and then either lengthen your spine or come through into cow pose. So whichever feels right for you tonight, yeah? It's totally your choice. And then as well, you can sink back anytime you want to. So remember, this is totally your workout. 
Good work. So relax those hips, relax the back. Stretch it away as much as you wish. Okay, so we are gonna start. Come back into your calf stretch. I'm gonna take my right leg. As I come forward, I'm gonna come one, two, back. One, two, back. So cross towards the opposite hand and then the same side, push it back. One, two, here. One, two, here. Push back in calf stretch. Woo! Lengthen out the back of the legs. Feel that there. Now you know what you're doing. Go on your left side, come forward, plank. We go one, two, back. One, two, back. So we go opposite and then same side. Abdominals brace. One, two, push. One, two, push. One, two, push. Push back, calf stretch. Woo! Hands probably felt it, wrists probably felt it. Absolutely. Sink it back. Okay, again. On your right side, eight times. Go one. And two. Three. And four. Keep those abdominals in tight. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Push back. Woo! So you know what's coming. Left side coming in eight times. Left leg. Go one. Go two. Go three. Come on, guys. Now push back. Woo, tell me you're warm, please. Good work. Really nice. Okay, I need you to grab one weight. You're going to place yourself down on your elbow. Just underneath here. We're going to come up. Lengthen the arm away. Modified side plank here. We can extend that top leg if we wish. If we want to work harder, we can come into our side plank here if you want to. Now stack your hips, pull those abdominals in tight. We're holding strong. Well done. Hold up with that weight. Stacking the pelvis, we're not going to let that twist. Now take that top arm down. And lift. Down. Lift. You're doing great. Stay at a level that's appropriate for you. Remember you can do this in a full side plank anytime you want to. There. Lift it up. Well done. Elbows under the shoulder. Try not to have it too far forward so there's no kind of Discomfort in that shoulder. Keep the arm up. Now, take it over and bring it back. Breathe out. And then you're going to feel that work coming in there. So if that weight is around a 2 or a 3 kg, that's perfect. Over. Anything heavier, it's going to be too much. Press. And lift. One more. Press. And lift. Now push back. Release. Good work. Shoulders were working there super hard. Side of the waist was working for you as well. Perfect. Lay onto your side again. That same side. We're going to grab our ball or our towel, whichever we want. We're going to place it in between our knees. Lay ourselves down to centre. So your knees are over to one side and your body is going to come up straight. We're going to take the hands behind the head and then use this top arm to reach a little bit further. So we're going to come up and down. Breathe out, breathe in. 
So little side crunch. You are squeezing the ball between the thighs. We lift up. Rib cage to hip bone. Reach your hand towards your heel as far as you can go. You are on the side of your body. As you come up, chin is off your chest. Lift. Lower. Up and down. Give me four. Three. Two. I want you to squeeze a little harder with the ball. Stay up and pulse. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Put both hands behind the head. Pulse. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, Louise. Good work. Slowly come round. Come to centre. Place the ball back behind you. Or roll up your towel. Relax the legs. We're going to push back onto the ball here. Brace the abdominals and stay in nice and strong. Okay, so I'm going to take... It down on the right and then a double arm pull and then down on the left and then a double arm pull. You with me? So we pull and double arm. Pull left. Double arm. Take your right arm open. Left arm open. So we open door. Twist through the side of your waist. Double arm, here, open, go again, exhale, push that, strong through the tummy, as you push back onto the ball, you've got this, two, one, stay back, arms up, wave, woo, hold it strong, you're staying back on that ball. You with me? If you need a breather, you take it. Otherwise, you're up. Right arm, go. Both arms together. Left arm. Oh, Jason's got his fitness blood taste top on today. Do that again. Double arm. Left arm. Double arm, well done. Right arm, open door. Then go on the left. You got it? Stay strong. Both arms, open, close. Push back onto that ball. Now can we add a leg? Press. Woo, it's making it a little bit harder. I told you it's crazy cool. Stay with me. Four. And three. Itchy nose. Two. Stay back on that ball or towel. Hands up. Wave. Woo! Keep it with there. Come on, gang. You have got this. Take your breather. Good. Release the hips. Stay there. Open that out. Now, we are not done because I need to do that one more time. Yes? Push back onto the ball. Ready? Right arm. Go. Both arms. Left arm. Both arms. Give me an opener now. Do it again. Turn and look where you're going. Keep those abdominals in strong. Are you ready? Do a double arm, single leg, push. Be my baby, come on. Woo! Push. Stay with your hands up. Away. Four. Three. Two, release. Woo, good work. Okay, over you come on your other side. Grab your weight. Elbow under the shoulder. 
Be on the knees, extend the leg if you want. Hold and stack. Remember, you can be in a full side plank if that feels good for you. Your hips are stacked one on top of the other. You're going to breathe, isolate through the side of the waist. Make sure your elbow is under your shoulder. Slowly take the hands down and lift. You'll notice I'm bringing it through the body, so I'm not just lowering it with a straight arm. I'm not going to do any discomfort to my shoulder there. I'm bending my arm and staying close to my body. Now stay up slowly and go over. And lift. Over. It's when you go over, that's where the obliques kick in. They're the side of your waist. And over, you are doing so good. Breathe out, breathe in, you're not done. Let's go again. Four, and lift. Three, and lift. Keep it coming, please. Go. One more time. Superb, we come down. Feel on the same side of the body, grab the ball, place it in between the knees. Body is central, hands behind the head, this top arm is going to reach. Down to the foot and back up. You exhale as you lift up. Inhale, go, lift, lower. Chin stays off that chest. We lift and lower, squeeze the ball, really well done, can we stay up and pulse, go, lift, lift, up and up, give me four, three, two, both hands behind the head, up, chin off that chest, you're crunching there, right on the side of the waist, Ribcage to hip bone, keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We release. Good one. Bring yourself up. Take a little stretch. Feel free to take your legs wide. You are going to roll forward as far as you can. We've got Benny joining us here. Hello, Poppy. Good work. Okay, place that ball back behind you again. Feel free to have the legs wherever you feel comfortable. You can have them bent, soles of the feet can go together. You can have them extended if that feels better for you. You're going to push back onto the ball. Hold nice and strong. From here, we're going to lift both arms up. Release. Do it again. Breathe out. And breathe in. Breathe it away. And again. Lift up. Superb. You've got this. Keep nice and strong through the waist. Double arm. And again. Take the arms out on the diagonal. Open. Close. Open and close. Open up that space in the front of the body. One arm down, one arm up. Good work. Press, press. Take the right leg, right arm. Stay here. Give me two more. Well done. Change to your left side. Press. Slide in that leg away, and you've got the same arm. Lifting up. Brilliant. Take the hands together, drop the elbow. Then the other side. Go again. Feel okay? Can we go quicker? One, two, three, four, five, six. On the diagonal, go. Go again. Press it away. Do you remember your same arm, same leg? Show me. Here. And back. Woo! 
Drop the elbows, slow, centered, and again. Double time. So no pause. Holding strong. Well done, diagonals. Oh, this is why it's crazy core. Cool. We are overloading that body. Same arm, same leg. Are we okay, VIPers? Come on, let's do it. You ready with the elbow drop? Slow time. Hold. And again. You ready to speed it up? Let's do this. Drop. Down. 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 Four. Three. Two. Last time diagonal. Go. Oh. My gosh. You've got this. Same arm, same leg, hold tight. Breathe, exhale, slow into your twists. Woo! Hello abs, please tell me you can feel this. Double time, drop, 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 four, three, Two, we release. Oh, baby flops at the same time. With the mood. <laughs> oh my gosh, well done, you. Fabulous. Okay, grab your weights. Grab a drink if you need to, people. We're going to bring it down. Okay, bring your weights up. Find your neutral spine position. Knees over your hip bones. Brace the abdominals nice and strong. We're gonna take a pec deck with a single leg extension. Away, in. You open wide and you're taking that leg away. Breathe out and breathe in. Push. That's it. Squeeze. Feel that work for you. I'm going to do four more. Three. Two. One. Now the arm and leg go away. Keep it at arms here. Sit on the legs. You've got four. Three. Two. Release. Okay, you know the score. Reset yourself. Bring your knees up. Arms up. Single leg. Opens. I want you to really go for it on the scissors, gang. So don't compromise your spine. So just be careful there, yeah? Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold in strong the whole time. You are doing superb. Well done. Double arm, double leg. Here they come. Scissors. Go as low or as high as you wish, but the weights are behind the head. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring them in, bring them away again. Go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes, go. Put your weights to the side. Fabulous. Grab your ball if you want to or your rolled up towel. Place it underneath your bottom. We're going to hold it nice and strong. So we're going to do a little bit of a finisher and then I'm going to stretch you out. I want you to relax your shoulders. Feel free to take them wide if you want with your hands. Or keep them close and turn your palms up and just relax the shoulders here. Okay, with these legs, we are going to move a fraction of an inch away. 
So the abdominals engage and we can feel that. Hold strong. Take your right leg, lift it up to the sky. Take that right leg, lower it down to the point where you can feel your abdominals work. Now stay there, hold. Keep breathing. If you want to, those arms can come up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring the leg back in, hold strong, relax the arms. Left leg up, left leg down to the point where you can feel your abdominals engage. Stay there, no change in the back, no change in the abdominals. The arms can lift if we wish. We choose our level. This is our class, we work as hard as we want to. Breathe, we're not gonna give up. Bring it in, change leg again, lift up, push down. Get to that point where you know you're working. You can feel it, that fire through the abs. With the arms if you wish. If you want to, you can take those arms overhead. Don't let them collapse. You're super strong. Breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it in, left leg, lift. Come down to the point where you feel those abdominals work. No change in the back, no change in the abdominals. Hands up if you wish, take it back and hold. Oh my gosh, you are working so hard tonight. This is probably the hardest core Pilates class you've done throughout the whole of lockdown. Absolutely superb. Four, three, two, one, release. Good work. I want you to roll your knees from right to left. Give yourself a recovery. Let your back relax and open. The hard work is done, gang. Feel free to stay with that little roll from right to left. Take your time there. Good work. Nice natural breath. When it feels good for you, bring the feet down, have your hands by your side. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, and roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Come into shoulder bridge, relax the shoulders. So a little bit of work for your back, your bottom. Squeeze the muscles in the butt and the back of the thighs. Lower it down when you wish to, melt the spine. Now if you want to, you can lift those arms up, Leave them on the floor back behind you. Lower down the back, vertebrae by vertebrae. Smooth through the spine and release. And take the arms down by your side whenever you're ready. Inhale, exhale, and you're gonna lift up. Lower down whenever you wish. You do one more, ready? Lift. Hug the knees into the chest when you're ready. Let's take that breather. Release the back. Feel free to circle round on your lower back. Massage your lower spine here. Go around the other way when that feels good for you. Open that up there. We uncross the feet, cross them the other way and do our rotations again. Bring the knees over to one side of the room. Open up that shoulder. We release, change sides. Pull the knees over, let the shoulder drop. Open out through your back.
Well done. Take a full body stretch. The arms go above your head. Your feet go straight down. Stretch through your spine here. Let everything lengthen. Take your hands behind the head. We take a breath. Inhale. Let's go. Lift the head up. Chin on the chest. Look to the feet. Lower down as you come up this time. Turn the head to one side. Then lower down. Change over to the other side. And then bring that back to centre. Well done. Very slowly from here, hug the knees to the chest again. You're going to slowly come up. Sit comfortable for you. Take your right hand down, your left hand over and stretch your waist. Change sides. I really hope you feel like you've got a workout tonight. Bring your legs lovely and long. Take your right leg in, cross it over your left. This hand comes round, pull the knee in, come into twist. Look back. Good. Change over to the other side. Other leg comes in, take it across. Opposite hand comes round, hug the knee. Look back. Bend knee. Slowly come round in fours. Hands under the shoulders, knees under your hips. Let's take a moment to release your back. Round up into your cat stretch. So much work tonight for this midsection. Okay, one more. Sink it back, walk the fingertips along the floor, head down. Lengthen out the back. Take the hands over to the right hand side of the room, left hand on top. Head comes down low. Change over to the other side when you're ready. Lengthen the other way. You're going to bring your hands back to centre. Turn the toes under. Push the hips up. Feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Feel free here again if you want to. Bend through the knees again. Press that up. Get the shoulders released. We take our breath. Inhale. Exhale. Walk our hands back to our feet. Relax the shoulders here. We slowly rise. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Bring your neck and head up last. Roll your shoulders back. We're going to take two roll downs. I want you to come down just as far as it feels good for you. So if it feels better to place your hands on your thighs, come into your flat back position. You can, or you can roll all the way down and relax the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, you rise when you're ready. Inhale. Exhale and roll. This is the last one. Shake out through the shoulders, shake out through the back. Take a breath, inhale, exhale and roll up. Well done, inhale. As you exhale, find your perfect Pilates posture, just like you did at the start of the class. Be aware of how that feels now. Another breath, inhale. As you exhale, grow taller, let that spine lengthen and bring your pelvis back into your neutral spine position. One more time, inhale. As you exhale, Dan, you are feeling super strong. You have worked super hard. Be super proud. Take your right arm above your head and your left. Right hand forward and your left. Right palm in and your left. And give yourselves and each other a superb round of applause. Woo, woo, woo.